there's three steps to it that we're going to run through. The first thing is updating the currency exchange rate. The second thing is running the batch job that allows us to adjust the entries. And the third thing is we're just going to have a quick look and analyze some of the results. So let's pop into Business Central and start having a look. Start with, I'm going to go into my currencies from the search bar up at the top. And I've now got a list of all my currencies. I'm going to select one. We're going to use Euro today and adjust the exchange rate. Now, normally I might be able to do this online via a web service that allows me to get live updates in this exchange rates service option. But today, because I'm using demo data and demo dates, I'm going to process and I'm going to, going to go with my exchange rates and exchange it manually. So once I've clicked on exchange rates, I can scroll down my table of all the previously changed ones for euros in the past, add a new line in. I'm going to add one in for today. We're going to add a rate in. And we're going to pop back out of the table now that it's saved in the top right. So we've got a new exchange rate set on the system. After exchanging it, though, we're going to want to adjust the exchange rates for any of the entries previously gone. So we can use this adjust exchange rate batch job to adjust GL entries customer, vendor and bank account entries within the system. If I click on here. I can put a starting date in, but normally it's good practice not to. You don't need to put a starting date in here. We can put our ending date as the date we've just exchanged, uh, we've just added. We'll add in a document number. And you can see on here I'm adjusting customers vendors and bank accounts in this adjustment. You can also put a filter on. So below I can scroll down and add in a filter for euro. This will just specifically focus on the euro exchange rate and stop me looking at any others that might have had a change that I don't want to update at this time. Or you can leave it blank to update all your exchange rates at once. Now when I hit OK on here, it's going to go away and adjust the, those entries within the system. And we'll be able to go and have a look at that. So I'll start off by going to my general ledger registers. And we should see a line up at the top, yep, here, where we've got a source code of exchange rate adjustment. And I can process from the top, click general ledger, and from here, have a look at all the lines posted for today with my exchange rates. So my unrealized, my realized, my vendor, bank and customer lines posted to the GL. Now, interestingly, I can also see this on my vendor ledger entries. So if I click on vendors within here, I can find a Euro vendor. I should have the one somewhere. Yeah, down here with a balance. And click into their balance to see any invoices. And if I scroll along and click into my local currency, I can see I've got my initial entry, my invoice, but I've also got my unrealized loss line in here that's been added for today from that exchange adjustment that I've just done. Now that unrealized adjustment will become realized once we've received the money into the bank account. So once we've received money for that invoice, it will become realized rather than unrealized. 